arguably since time immemorial, there have been passions, urges, um, inexplicable um, furies, to use the Greek word, that, that possess people, that take them over, okay? Which are equated often with religious, spiritual revelation, awakening like that, also with possession, okay? But what all of these have is this lifting yourself out of yourself, okay, into another dimension. And so typically when you come back to this dimension, you go, oh, the angels spoke to me, or oh, God talked to me, or ah, I saw the flame in that bush, or ah, the bee in that flower gave me a message. And they did, okay? But that's incomprehensible to anyone who wasn't in that experience with you, okay? So it's put out there. This is the basis of the gods. This is the basis of the psychological demiurges that psychiatrists deal with every day. I would, I would suggest to you that it's the basis of much of our neurosis and much of our psychosis. And, and from a mythic perspective, those urges that come out when you honor them, they become your gods. When you deny them, they become your devils, and they ultimately destroy you. And that's the history of humanity, and the history of literature, and the history of film. It's a, the history of the novel. It's a documentation of what happens to individuals when those primal urges are neglected, or what happens to them when they're followed. Because in both cases, they have consequence in the real world.